the Tumpy Treat was already in motion. Okay, there was there was paperwork that was uh, submitted to the schools that I had to submit to the schools, and the only thing I'm waiting back on that is um, them to approve the flyer. Okay, what's the cap for the 150? That's all we're voting on. So that's all we really need to know. Well, actually, I would. I don't know if I can do it at this time, but I, I actually like probably to add a hundred more if I if I could just to make sure we had enough. It's for the uh, refreshments that we do have some for leftover from the picnic, all right. But it's to replenish those and also to put decorations up in the gazebos. Um, there's no electricity out there, but we're using battery powered lights to try to fix it up. And <clears throat> for any other uh, like conversations, like spoons forks what time what time is it being that we're gonna yeah, uh, i believe we read Lori you can correct me if i'm wrong i believe it was going to start from basically trick-or-treating from six to eight six to eight right at the park right at here the park. correct on um, october 31st that's correct and um what did they do if they were going to be i didn't see the flyer Okay, what it, what, it, what, it, what it is, it's going to be um, getting truck and tree, uh, trunkers together right now, the list, how many trunkers are we going to have. So they can contact you if they want to participate? Right, okay. I'm on the flyer, they can contact me, the number is going to be on the flyer, um, I'm just waiting from the schools to approve the flyer, okay. the flyer's got to be approved through the schools. Mm -hmm. um, the paperwork was already submitted to approve the flyer, so that's the only thing I'm waiting back on that. As soon as I get that approval, I'll have to <coughs> make the necessary amounts of flyers to pass out the oh. schools. And then did you want to put it on Channel 6 and then in the Community Bulletin for The Voice? Right. In the Times Herald? That's correct. Do you, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Or, uh, or well, I mean, if, you, if you, know, you want to do it, it's fine. Um, it, I'd love to de delegate some of my work. <laughs> no, that's fine. If you want to um, do that, okay, so we'll do channel six. Do you have a copy of the flyer? Um, yeah, as soon as they, I'm supposed to, they're supposed to okay it either at the end no, of the No, I mean, week. for me to get oh. to the voice in the time serial and channel Right, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get a copy. Um, I'll drop that off. Okay, just give it to me before, like, the first. Yeah. I mean, I'll get to you either quite, probably this week or the beginning. We have quite some, uh, you know, pretty good okay? Sure. And if I could interject, what it is is um, we, we're asking for volunteers to come out to the parking lot and do the park or the park, park? The park. The park. Okay. And um, just set up instead of kids going house to house, you're gonna have all your candy there. You decorate your vehicle. Kids come from right. vehicle to vehicle trick or treating as opposed to going through the streets in the city. Now I did tap with Chief Joe Slingster, and he said if you want to have a bonfire. You can and he will bring one of the the water truck out there. Okay. And, now, and I got a question mm -hmm. on that. Is that if you have a bonfire, do you have to have the truck there? He's gonna have the truck there. Oh, okay. But well, I, I was just. I mean, you know, I was just, just because I'd rather be safe. Yeah, I'm sorry. And he said it's not a problem for him. All right. Okay. So, so can you give him the you, times and dates? Yeah, oh, right. Okay. So that way, you know, that's fine. and he said that was fine. So if you guys want to do it, go for it. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But he's going to have it covered. So I think that would be great. Okay, and also, um, I've teamed up with Historical Society, some of the volunteers that they have um, to work further uh, in the future um, together to oh, try good. to do things. Good. And uh, maybe so uh, collaborate the that would be great. <coughs> right, and uh, help each other out along the way. In the future, so that's what we're working on right now together. Okay. So, is there any other questions? Or? No. So you just want to change the um, the cap to two fifty instead of one hundred and fifty? Yeah. It doesn't mean that we're going to use it all. Exactly. I mean, it's just it's there just, if I need it or for the decorations. And it's for decorations and um, what else was that? Was that the, the rest of the refreshments and stuff that we're going to have there that we don't have. have. Food. Right. Uh, what, right. We, what we need to do with that is, is we can approve it tonight for 250, but you have to take it back before the person rec and ask them to increase.
increase the amount. I'll do that. So our motion should be contingent on parks and record moving. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I, I actually did have a question for Tony. The uh, and the board actually. The uh, I was going to say say 150 was actually. I was going to say that probably should be raised. So I'm glad Tony mentioned this. Uh, but what if that also goes up? Should we also give the permission? You know, if they run out to have a little bit of a the ability to go out and purchase some extra candy and stuff at a local store? We um, we can provide the refreshments like the hot dogs and the chips and the pop, but I don't know that we can provide the candy. Um, basically, from my understanding on the trick or trunks, um, the people that are volunteering to pass out the, the trunkers, I call them, mm -hmm. uh, are going to be passing out the candy, bringing their candy. So we won't have to provide that. We're providing the refreshments, the drinks. And um, the like decorations, so not um, alcoholic yeah. <laughs> drinks. Not uh, anybody ever wants. To, hey, just don't. I don't see nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's hot and chips and hot dogs. Like we did for the picnic, yeah. right? So if you decide not to have the bonfire, though, let me know so that we don't show you. I think we're going to decide to have it, Kelly, because I think. Um, I've coordinated with some of the people who are going to do the cemetery cleanup, yeah. and we're going to bring some of that stuff over here to start pop okay. over there. So when we, I believe that's the 25th. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So um, we'll, we'll, I'll coincide with okay. them, tell them we're going to bring it, so you can call the chief. Well, we yeah, email, so let them know what's going on. All right. Any other questions? Well, I'll make it a motion to. It's very a motion that was discussion, so I need all in favor. Well, I need to uh, make a re motion. Um, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the parks and rock trunk or tree the one with the cap of 250. It's actually an amendment. I'll, I'll make the motion to amend. To I made the motion. You can second it, if you want. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I'll second your motion. Thanks, Kelly. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion gives. Public comments? No public comments? Okay. Um, I'm just going to bring up a couple of things that's going on uh, around the township. We are starting to work on the waterfront park. The surveyors were out there today. Madam the goal is to have them to You're providing a supervisor report, which is no longer. I'm not job. providing a supervisor report. I'm discussing township business, Michael. Um, so we are moving on with the park. The surveys were out there. Uh, the goal is to get them started on the 22nd, or I should say completed with the survey on the 22nd. Uh, within the month of October, they'll be working on the park and have that <coughs> completed. We also have, um, I got this from the Road Commission, that there will be intermittent lane closures on Starville between Marco and Shea for crack filling during this week. And then as well as Starville and Shortcut and Marco will be closed to all through traffic for crossroad culvert replacement for one day. I'm not sure if they did that or if they didn't get a for that yet. Um, Oh, also, I'm happy to say that we were awarded the SAW grant in the amount of $279,000, which will be the assessed management, um, the SAW grants, the stormwater, the assessed management, and the wastewater grant that we uh, applied for. So we'll be working on that. And the Cutter Planning Commission issued their annual report. And just some of the things that I wanted to highlight on was uh, that they had updated the cemetery ordinance. Um, what else are you guys going to So I can speak to you. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, we are working on our master plan. I did ask each committee. Um, the Parks and Rec plans expires next year, so I asked each committee what they see for the, the future of Cotcherville. So they're working on that, and they are going to meet with our man master planners and the planning commission next month um, to get going on that. 
So can I get a motion for adjournment? I invite Clerk Lori Russellberg to document a violation of MCL 15.263.5 for the violation of the agenda. At no point does any board comment or supervisor's report appear on this agenda. So please document that in the minutes. I believe that, if I may, Kelly. Go ahead. I believe that this is Supervisor Caselli's meeting, and if she wants to inform the audience members who are sitting here about the goings on in the community, she has every right to do so. And. Bears. I'm sorry? I think it's the I think they stage. need to stop, and if you can't control yourself, then you can leave. Okay. We didn't ask for anybody to speak out loud. You're not a board no, member. The, the public does not address the board. Thank you. Clerk, I'd also like for the minutes to Lori, document. were you done before Ms. Zorn interrupted you? I am now. And could you please repeat that? Because I didn't hear it because Michael is not over interrupting you. Oh, I was just stating that this is your meeting. You have every right to inform the audience members of the goings on in the community. And, um, our agenda policy, whether it has it or not, it doesn't have to have it on there. It is your meeting. Thank you. No, that's the secretary, please. It's you the are people's out of order. Michael, yeah, you are. It's the people's meeting, not Kelly Facella. It is the people's meeting. Can right. I get a motion for adjournment? I make a motion. I want the minutes to, to, to document. Ken Chartier should have gone to the podium to speak. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Well, I guess if you didn't take out board member comments, you wouldn't have that problem. <laughs>